Hello Indie Game fans! The Mother series is one of those classic franchises that so many people love, especially Mother 2, also known as Earthbound, due to its combination of the everyday setting and items with supernatural elements. However, its latest release, Mother 3, was released 14 years ago and never got an English translation, so naturally, indie developers stepped up to fill that void. So here are 10 upcoming indie games like Earthbound to check out. Do note that some of these are like Earthbound, more so in feel and setting rather than mechanics, but we shall begin with Circadian. Explore the quiet suburban town of Mount Olive as a bunch of local misfits where things get strange when a shady corporation moves in. The circadian rhythm of the creatures goes haywire, leading to chaos in the town, so work together, solve the mystery, and unlock the secrets of the unrest rhythm and save the town. What I really do appreciate about this is the battle interface, especially the designs of the enemies, but this looks like an unabashed tribute and one to look forward to. The next title from Undertale creator Toby Fox is titled Delta Rune, where Chapter 1 was released out of the blue on Halloween 2018. While theoretically just chapter 1, it has spawned a huge fan following, largely due in part to the popularity of Undertale, but at some point in time, chapter 2 is supposed to be released as well. One title which strongly gives off Earthbound vibes is the adorable looking Ken Mafia's Curse, a turn based RPG set in another sleepy town where a cult and an ancient curse threatens it all. Not too many details, but it is inspired by 90s JRPGs with a touch of Scottish humour so it looks unique in its own right. The combat screen, however, is more traditional sight on JRPG, but I do have a good feeling about this one. Many developers hate being compared to Earthbound or even Undertale for that matter, but one which gives off a similar vibe is Hotbound, currently in early access. It is a trip with impossible levels and loops that make you question your own sanity as the character Law and his dog travel through time and space. This is not a traditional RPG with levels and such, and has minigame focused combat but very well made so far and should be fully released by the end of the year. Well, 
While not too much has been shown off of the gameplay of A Vast Scourge of the Sea, I did go back to dig into their indie DB page and Tumblr to confirm that yes, indeed, it is an RPG. This has you playing as a young girl who is led together with a captain on an adventure sparked by a mysterious mutiny causing pendant. The combat has a unique hook in that it is all centered around greed, increasing the risk reward in battle but also affecting moves that you can make including plundering your enemies. looks cute and the pixel art in that introduction was on point so I'm very curious about this. I have covered Glitched a number of times before but I think that it's still worth a mention since despite not having a Steam page and being funded on Kickstarter way back in 2016, this fourth wall breaking adventure does look promising. On top of the adorable and colourful pixel art, this is set in a world where the entire world can glitch out depending on your actions. There is an essence system signified by the colour of your character's cap, including zeal, insight, harmony, Conquest, Drift, and Bastion, affecting the core traits of our protagonist and how he interacts with NPCs. Initially planned for an October 2019 launch, this has since been pushed back, but all indications point to it being pretty complete, so fingers crossed it will be a 2020 release. Another quirky title which perhaps has more in common with Undertale, which itself draws from Earthbound, is the very strange but unique Knuckle Sandwich. An everyday RPG, play as a young boy who moves to the city and manages to get a job in the diner only to be embroiled in a missing person's mystery involving both a gang and a cult. It combines turn-based RPG combat with minigames, but it looks like a delight. I've said it before but I don't really like fake scan lines in games but for whatever reason it really does work in Adventure. This is a turn-based RPG set in a cursed fairy tale world based on the original Grim Brothers version of these stories and has a focus on inner demons and nihilism. The ability to kill or spare enemies narrative choices to make, puzzles to solve and secrets to uncover makes this a very tantalizing prospect.
This one may be just a fan game, but the very cleverly titled Mother Russia really impressed me with the look, both paying tribute and diversifying the mother concept for RPGs. Set in the same game universe as the Mother games, but in the equivalent of 90s Russia, follow two troublemakers and a star man that they found as they uncover hidden truths about their everyday lives. This is built using a custom-made Earthbound engine, so for fans to be that dedicated to reverse engineer the engine is a testament to their dedication. Some stereotypically Russian-inspired enemies with the inclusion of Mario RPG-style active turn-based combat makes this one to look out for. One of the Earthbound inspired games that I've been looking forward to for a long time is Oddity, previously known as the fan game project Mother 4. Another everyday RPG adventure, play as a boy who leaves home with a baseball bat and a pellet gun in hopes of saving the world. There are demons, a shady society known as the Modern Men, and even Ooze on the Moon. So gather your friends and venture forth. The mix of art styles from the vibrant overworld sprites to the almost 90s anime portraits is a delight, and I'm so very impressed with this, taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.